in my mind, regardless of the attacks, and we were going to stay and keep it clean and keep it positive the entire way. You know, as I looked at it, I know my family probably didn't look at it the same way, but um, with the attacks, it was a good sign, right? You wouldn't get be getting attacked to the level that we were getting attacked if we weren't doing well. And so that was a, that was a good sign to me. You know, about a month and a half ago, they started to attack and then tripled down and quadrupled down on it and spent the money spent. So I thought, it, you know, it was a good sign. And, uh, you know, it was important to me that we run a, a positive campaign on a lot of different re reasons and levels. Um, you know, my kids, especially my oldest, is learning about state government, and it just so happens her dad's running for governor. And I wanted to make sure that uh, she could look at her dad and, and uh, you know, years down the line, be proud of the fact that I ran a positive campaign. And with all the big things that we have to do in the state, it, it, it takes coalition building and working with all types of different people. And so it was important to me to to uh, keep it positive because I, I couldn't ask those people to trust me in moving to January of 2023 if I was out there cutting people down. And so there's a lot of reasons why, but that was already always the intent and what we were always going to do. And I'll continue to do that into November. And you know, one of the nice things about running a clean campaign, a positive campaign, I don't have to apologize to anybody uh, for what we've done. And so I think um, with the results tonight, and I'm feeling very good about it, then we'll come back together tomorrow, moving forward and, and build the coalition moving into November.